Hey teachers, are you looking for even more ways to engage your virtual students with games and activities? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly embed a timer in your Google Slides, and then we'll talk about some activities you can play once that timer has been embedded. Now, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing to the channel, I would very much appreciate it. We produce all of the content here on my channel and give it to you guys for free. Liking and subscribing is just a quick and easy thing that you can do so that we can continue producing free content for you and educators all around the world. Now, let's get into the purpose of today's video. The first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to show you the fastest and easiest way to embed a countdown timer on your Google Slides. So let's go ahead and jump on my computer and I will show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are inside of Google Slides and I have an activity where students are going to create as many equations that equal 20 as possible in one minute. So I now need a timer so that they can keep track of the time. So to do this is so simple, you're gonna click on insert and then you're gonna scroll down to video. Now the great thing is when you are working inside of a Google app, because Google owns YouTube, you can search for videos directly inside of the app. So this is the same thing as the YouTube search. So I'm gonna type in one minute timer. And this is exactly what would appear if I searched for this in YouTube. So you don't have to open a new tab, find a video, and then copy and paste the link. Now, the one thing I recommend when you're looking for a timer is make sure you type in the time frame that you're looking for or you're going to get all kinds of timers. Another recommendation I have is if you can't find the specific timer that you're looking for, change timer to countdown clock. That will pull up some other options as well. But there's a one minute timer right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and then click on select and you will see the video appears straight away right here. It's also going to give you some formatting options and there's several options that are very, very helpful. The first one is a drop down menu and you can determine whether you or students are going to need to click on the video for it to start playing or you can set it to play automatically. So as soon as this slide opens, the video will start playing. Other really helpful tools are the start and end time. So let's say you don't want the student to see a certain part at the beginning of the video. You can change the start time to have it begin playing at a later time, or you can have it end at an earlier time. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go ahead up here I can play the video and then kind of scroll through to see what is in it. And that allows me to check, is there anything at the beginning or end that I maybe need to trim out? And this one looks fine, so I don't need to do that. The other thing you can do, this particular countdown video does not have audio, but if yours does, you can click this checkbox and it will make sure there's no like music or anything like that playing. You'll also see some drop down menus here that have to do with size, rotation, and position. These will allow you to change the size and position manually. To be honest, I find it much easier just to click on the video and then I can drag it and then move it exactly where I want it. And I find that much easier than trying to type in specific dimensions that I want. Now that's pretty much all you're going to do to actually embed the timer on your slide. Now, the one thing that I do want to show you is let's say I start playing this video. It will play in edit mode and it will also play in present mode so you don't have to be in present. The problem is when you click anywhere else, you'll notice that it stopped. So you're not going to be able to have students work on the slide and then have it playing at the same time. For this particular activity, probably what I would do is make it a whole class activity. So I would show this slide to the whole class, start the timer, and then have them write all of their equations on a separate piece of paper. Then when the timer goes off, I would have students share their responses and I would type them in here. 
So that is one thing to keep in mind is that the timer can't be playing while the students are working in the slide. I've experimented with a few different ways to do that and haven't really found a great option yet. There are some Google Chrome extensions you can add, but the timer still won't show on the slide. It kind of plays in the background and then makes noise when it goes off. So I don't like that because students still can't see the timer when they're working. So this I would say is the best option, but just keep in mind that when you're using it, students are going to need to be working on a separate piece of paper or doing something apart from the slide and then coming back to it. All right, so now that you know how to embed that countdown timer in your Google Slides, let's talk about a few different activities that you can play with your students once you do that. I've got three activities to share with you. The first one is a challenge activity, and this is going to be similar to what you you saw in the example on my computer. So I had an activity where students were going to write out as many problems as possible that equaled a certain total within that given amount of time. You can also translate this into other subjects. For example, in science or social studies, you could have students write down as much as they know about a given topic in a given amount of time. For reading, you could have students summarize a book in a given amount of time or maybe write down as many adjectives as they can think of to describe a certain character in a given amount of time, but there's literally all kinds of things that you can do with that. The next activity I have for you is a Pictionary or charades activity, really any type of timed game. So you can have your virtual students acting something out in front of the camera or drawing something while the other students try to guess what it is before time runs out. The third and final activity that I have for you is a virtual brain break activity. So especially if you're teaching virtually, it's so important to give your students time throughout the day just to get up and move so that they can refocus and finish out the day strong. So you can use that timer for your virtual brain breaks or those movement activities. And if you are looking for specific virtual brain break activities, we have a whole video on this channel with 10 of my favorites. So I will link that down in the description so that you can check that out. But I would love to hear from you. What types of activities are you already using where you're using a virtual timer in your Google Slides? Or have you thought of an activity that you could use while watching this video? Go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. And then like I said, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing to this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, happy teaching.